Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigi here, getting ready to take out the German 1.0 HE51. Uh, this is a premium one, float plane, and air realistic. Uh, took out the HE51C in the last one, was not impressed by its climb rate. This one says that its rate of climb is better and hopefully has WEP. Um, but these are good planes. They turn well, um, the, the um, two guns on them have a high fire rate, so got a thousand rounds of that, plenty of ammo. And uh, yeah, let's take it out and see what we can do. All right, so the map central Tunisia, uh, we're just going to head at them. They've got some ground targets there that at least the artillery and the uh, AA covering it won't be able to shoot at. So we did get an air spawn with this. That should be helpful. Unfortunately, no WEP on this one either. So may go back to the HE-51C after this if this doesn't work out. Uh, let's take a look at how we're lined up. So they're coming off to the, our left. We're just going to head towards uh, their right-hand ground unit. See who we're up against. Up against Merka, USSR, and Sweden. Yeah, that's Enskas. Got three guys together on their side. Two of them are um, squadron guys. So, probably pretty good. I have to say, joining a squadron is fantastic in that you get to learn from other players that are, you know, maybe been playing longer been running into stuff uh, some things maybe you're not catching that they are uh, downside is when you've got a squad tag on you become a target uh, most people on the other side know that they need to take you out early so it's a choice between shooting you or somebody else they will typically come after you Alright, so full teams now, that's good. Got four bombers on our side, they probably have the same. That means there's 12 fighters to get after. Bad part about this plane is you're never really going to have that great energy advantage over your opponents. Uh, you just can't climb as well. So we're going to have to get into the low level fur balls. Should be able to outturn most things. Job done that way. To have flaps on this, that's nice. All right, let's see what our team's doing because we're going to need their help. Pretty much down to our left over to our left so we're gonna head over that direction a little bit way we can get some help if we need it so we got the 112 and the 109 above us got three guys chasing one BB1 it's not what you want to be doing Now two guys, one crashed, all right. All right, so we're gonna check on this J8A. We do have a little bit of an energy advantage over him. Let's uh, nose down, get our speed up to around 150 miles per hour. These pontoons make it a little tough to get the speed up. So I-16 has the advantage over us. If we start fighting him, we're gonna have to fight him and the J8A. Let's go ahead and dive on this guy. Alright, he's down. My 16's coming in. Oh, we are way too slow. I'm going to be able to get out of the way of his guns if I need to. Alright, we're getting our speed back up. Try to slot in behind him. Get himself in a spin, that works for us. P36 above us, that's not good. He decides to come after us, not much we're going to be able to do about it. But we're going to focus on these two guys down here. So 
So J11 first. Good hits, not a lot of damage. Get after the F3F. Couple small hits. Trouble getting the nose around on this gun too. Yeah, I think I like the C variant better. Meaning the Chuckles one. Let's go ahead and get after this group of four. Go find them alone so I can get out of this plane. My 16 wants us. Both of them do. Tune search your turn time too. Alright, he's gonna get support before I do, so he's got us. Unless give him a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Throw the flaps on. Let a rudder. Full flaps. Going after the guy who I'm shooting at instead of the guy who's on my ass, teammates. You're the best. Always count on you. Finally got one. SPD in front. It's going to take us back towards our airfield, so that's good. And just him and another guy left. Sorry about the comment. I just get frustrated when, you know, you're chasing a plane and you got two chains pl planes chasing you. It's, uh... More often than not, your teammates are going to go after the one you're shooting at and just let the guys behind you shoot at you. Not sure why they do that, but it's frustrating. All right, SBD, get back here. Time to take your medicine, buddy. Still got 260 rounds left. Should be plenty. SBD-3, I think, has the 50 cals on the front, so should try not to get shot by him very much. We're lucky he'll focus on the ground still. Nope, he wants the 112. Alright, 112, bring him up in the air. Make my job easy. Barely catching him at the moment. I guess I could try a few shots just to get an assist. nines on him. Hopefully he makes him turn so we can get a shot. Nice. Get the assist. He's down. Oh, sorry 109. Shit happens. Alright, so we got one guy left on their side. I will check back in with you guys when I'm rearmed, refueled, and repaired. Well, guys, our teammates won it before uh, we got to come back in into the fight, so they ended up winning on the ground targets. Let's see how we did. We got four air targets, so four air kills, three assists. Okay, a couple backup vehicles. Um, second place on the team. Buddy did uh, got five kills. Nice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To say this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.